To math or not to math? That is the question after P.S. Belio Kipsang made the announcement that math is an optional subject for those in senior school. Reactions have poured in from various quarters, but this gives us the opportunity to discuss the transition to senior school for the CBC pioneer learners who will join grade 10 in 2026. So let's first understand the pathways, shall we? Now, there are four basic pathways. That's STEM, arts and sports science, social sciences, and the stage-based vocational pathway. The government's recommendation is that 60% of learners take up STEM, 15 take up arts and sports, and 25 take up social sciences. During this first term, learners are expected to make up their minds on their preferred pathways. And this will be done in consultation with their parents, of course, and with advisory at the junior school level. They will then choose from these pathways in the second term of this year. Now, each of the pathways has different suggested learning pathways that lead to different career paths. Arts and sports science is meant to foster creativity, expression through practical, experiential and project-based learning. Possible careers in this pathway include the sectors of the arts, sports, education and entertainment. Now, one of the core objectives for social sciences is to develop critical and analytical thinking and prepare learners for careers in social sciences such as law, education, public administration, international relations, economics, and even social work, right? Now, for those that select the STEM route, the teachers will help them develop problem-solving skills, technical competence, and prepare them for advanced studies and careers in areas such as engineering, IT, computer science, medicine and health sciences, data science, and various scientific disciplines in both research and development. Now let's talk about the objectives of the stage-based learning, whose aim is to prepare learners for immediate entry into the labor market by getting them the relevant skills and certifications. Now there are multiple career paths here, and learners can choose to further their education, enter the workforce or pursue further vocational training in areas such as weaving, leatherwork, animal farming, among others. Now, this pathway also provides those with special needs and disabilities, practical skills, technical knowledge and lifelong skills as well. Now, what subjects will they be learning in these pathways? That's where there is quite some heat. Learners in senior school, that is grades 10 to 12, will study seven subjects in total, four core subjects and three electives, which will be selected from their pathway of choice. The four core subjects are English, Kiswahili or Kenya Sign Language, Community Service Learning and Physical Education. Now STEM learners can then choose another three subjects from the following. Mathematics, chemistry, biology, physics, for those that choose the pure science track, agriculture, computer, home science, for those that choose the applied science track, and those who choose the technical studies track within STEM can choose from aviation, building construction, metalwork, even woodwork, among others. Now, for learners that choose the social sciences, they can further specialize in two tracks of learning and literature and the humanities. And their subject choices include literature in English, Fasihi in Kiswahili, sign language, other languages like German, Arabic, and even indigenous languages, and religious education, history and citizenship, business studies, and geography. For the arts and sports science, there are two tracks, that's arts and sports science. And learners can select three subjects from music and dance, theater and film, fine art, sports and recreation. Now, as you've noted, mathematics is optional, even for STEM courses, and this has elicited reactions from various disciplines. The, Institute, uh, the Institution of Engineers of Kenya has strongly opposed the removal of math as a core subject. They say that, and I quote, math is the language of engineering and technology, and that without a solid grounding in mathematics, students will struggle to develop analytical skills that are necessary for success in the engineering and technical professions. But they also decried its removal as a core subject from other pathways. 
Now, while acknowledging the flexibility of CBC, they say that its exclusion will affect the country's workforce readiness and economic stability. Now, they point out, for instance, that even in areas, say, music theory, math is important in harmonic frequencies. In sports analytics, it's important in biomechanics, performance tracking, and statistics. But they have a suggestion. Now, they say that instead of removing the subject entirely, the ministry can introduce practical math applications in areas such as financial literacy, statistics, technical measurements, and computational thinking. Now, they've also advocated for clear guidance on the implications of dropping math to ensure that the learners make an informed decision. That is what they are saying today. However, what will it take? How, is the learners, how are the learners going to be placed? And how will the learners make their selection? That is on part two of the explainer next week when we'll also take a look at the schools and the pathways that they will be able to provide. But that is tonight's explainer.